Greetings. Welcome to the Kingdom Cultural Center. Excuse me. Turn to, in the Constitution, Book of John, 15th verse, the 15th chapter, excuse me. And I read, this is Jesus speaking to King. I am the true vine. My father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes it, that it may bear more fruit. Now, what's actually transpiring here is this. You claim that you're in Jesus and you know the Son of God. You claim that You are his son. You are his child. But yet you fail to show any signs. I want you to understand something. When you do the right thing and when you, when you, when you connect, your mannerism eventually change. Your thought process eventually change. Excuse me. How you think about things eventually change. It's like you being in the gang. Things will happen to you if you hang there long enough. Your process, your thought process, excuse me, will change. You'll start thinking a different way. When you stay in the Word of God and you stay connected, your behavior will change. And you're going to get many things that try to separate you from the Word of God. You're going to get many things that try to separate you and turn you the other way. As a citizen of the kingdom, you must know your constitution. You must know your constitution in order for you to survive, in order for you to thrive. It's not enough for you to thrive, uh, to, to survive. I have no problem. I get challenges in life. When I dream, I go to bed to dream. The enemy attack me in my dreams. But I realize that God's word sustains me all the time. I make choices to stand up and live for him. I make choices how I'm going to behave and how I'm going to conduct myself. Like I once stated before in an early session. I love billiards, but I don't go in certain areas, in certain places, in certain environments to play pool. I love it. I, lo I, 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 I love to act. It's, it's, it's one sport that I really enjoy, playing. Some sports that people watch, like to watch like to watch, but I enjoy playing billiards. But there's certain environments I just can't go in. Apostle Paul made it very plain. He says, um, all things are lawful for me. In other words, I can do all things. That, hey, it's nothing wrong. It's no sin about it. But it's not expedient. Got to know what you need. Got to know your limitations. I know mine. I know mine. People watch it. People quick to judge it. So you have to stay connected with the Father. Remember, we are tribes, part beings. We have a soul, which is our personality, our five senses. We have a body, which we inhabit. And we are spirit. Our spirit inhabit the body, which contains our soul. But remember, you have to answer for your actions. You have to answer for it. 
It's not enough to go to the brick and mortar church. In fact, let me say this to you. The church was never designed to be like it was today. If you do your history, you'll find where the Romans set that up so they can monitor the quote unquote church. But the church are those who believe and who are filled with his spirit, the Lord Jesus Christ. So wherever you go, when they went to a town, they went to the church, sure. They went to homes and visit individuals and had little group meetings. You see, once you realize who you are in God, then you begin to recognize your purpose. If you don't know who you are, you got a problem. You have to start seeking it out. If you're concerned about your job, what you're going to get fed, how you're going to live, your clothes, something you're missing. You're not trusting. I, I've been there, I know. Trust the Lord with all your heart and do not even try to lean on your own understanding because you can't figure it out. I trust in the one who created me, just like my hand. And I told the doctor, I'm done. And a week later, God healed my hand. And the same thing with my wife. About three weeks ago, my wife for years hadn't been able to move this one of her fingers. Couldn't move it, couldn't straighten it out. Came to me, said, honey, pray for my finger. She writes with her left hand. I write with my right hand. And I prayed, I believe God. Well, I didn't get no long draw that prayer. I just trust I had to pray. I prayed in tongues for her. And see, that's the kingdom language, by the way. That's the kingdom language. The next morning she got up and she was like a, a brand new baby. Her finger was healed, delivered, and I thank the Lord for that. God is good. He knew our purpose. Like the right, she right, she. God is good. I want you to understand something. I want to remind you of something, whoever you may be. This world is temporary. The heaven and the earth, I'm not saying to scale, to scale, and maybe a scale into to embracing the kingdom, but hey, this world is temporary. Jesus made it very plain. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word shall not pass away. If you stick with the word of God, hang with the word, and I, I'm... And when I say that, I'm saying the same thing, Jesus, because if you check John 1 and the 14th chapter, you find the word was made flesh. And listen, listen what he says. And this is what I love. He says, His Father divine us, and every branch in me that bears not fruit, he takes away, and every branch that bears fruit, he prunes it, he makes it where it can grow more, and it may that it may bear more fruit. Now listen what else he says. Ye are, you are, no, not ye. You are clean because of the words I have spoken to you. That's what I said. Abide in the word. That's why I give you the word. Abide in it. God's word will change your life just like it changed mine. And listen, here's what he said too. Abide in me and I in you. And as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. Stay in the word. Stay in the word. Remember what he said in, in Luke 11, chapter and the 28th verse. You know, blessed are those who hear my word. Who hear my word and live by it and keep it. Don't put it in your Bible, you know, uh, open it up on Sunday or, or maybe a little short devotion. Let that word be your life. It's my life. Let it be your life. Hey, until next time, remember, your greatest asset 
is your faith in the word of God. Until next time. Thank you.